I would ask how you're feeling, but like the war cry just answered my question. Let's go. Good job, man. 30-27 all across the board. Can you be any happier with that performance? I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I mean, Kurt's a tough guy, a bona fide professional, a dangerous guy. Um, honestly, I was a little bit scared of him all camp, so uh, I'm very happy to get such a dominant performance against a guy like that and a tough winner. You've been in the game for a while. You know, like, uh, you know, you, you got fights. You got a lot of knowledge and experience. But is that a good thing to have that fear? I know you're scared of nobody, but that fear of what could happen, that still keeps you alert, keeps you sharp. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, you can feel fear. Like, fear is a feeling. It's not a decision. Fighters identify with fear as if it's their decision to be scared, like something's wrong with them. Now, fear is a feeling. Timidity is an action. So I will feel fear, but I will not show you timidity. So it is okay, especially if you're being honest with yourself. Man, but that's, I can't get no more honest than that. I appreciate that. And the honest assessment of your performance. I, I think you, you were on, cardio was on point. Were you surprised at how easy you were able to implement that wrestling in your game plan? Because you, there was really not much he was giving you back when you just planted him over and over. Well, I know I spent my first three UFC fights kickboxing, but I do have the best takedown timing in the world. I chose. Thank you. Was this the game plan going into this fight? Like, we're going to take it to the, to the ground and just kind of, like, you know, go to work? Or what were you guys, you know, whipping up the, leading up to this bout? Yeah, I mean, I definitely wanted to submit Kurt Holubo. He's kind of a little bit of a brawler on the feet. And so I thought that he would have a puncher's chance on the feet, but a 0% chance of handling me on the ground, although he is dangerous on the ground. So I thought that I should, uh, should do that. But I'm here to beat my opponents in striking, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu every fight out. And I feel like I've done that in my last two. Yes, sir. It looked like you had a little bit of fun in there, a little banged up, you know, something to talk about on Monday. Uh, what surprised you about him? I didn't hear you, sorry. That got a little banged up, so he was able to catch you, but it's all part of the fun. Did anything surprise you about him in, the, in there with you? So then you're like, oh, I got to adjust to that, or like, okay, we're going to have to work on this. He, he caught me here. Yeah, I, he did a little bit better job of pressuring me and, like, crowding me than I thought he would be able to. Um, I knew he would try to do that, but I thought that I would be able to keep my distance and keep my range a little more, and um, he did do a good job. He was able to just, like, kind of get in boxing range and stay there for extended periods of time, although he wasn't as successful in that range as I thought he would be if he caught me in that range. But uh, I did not intend to fight him in that close stand-up fight for extended exchanges, and I ended up doing that. Um, so hats off to him. He, he did a good job with that, and I think that's his veteranness, you know. For sure, I mean, that's awesome. We got to talk to Miles earlier, who also won, so he wins left and right. How much of a factor was that tonight at all, if anything, mental? Having a teammate right there, you guys both on the card, he was a short notice fight. Did that play a factor at all tonight? Well, Miles was supposed to be in my corner, and uh, three weeks before that, or two and a half weeks before that, he took the fight on the same card as me, which was the toughest part about that was for me to not be able to coach him because um, that was tough, and I thought I had made peace with it, but then when I was backstage warming up and he walked out to go fight, it like bothered me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be with Miles, but. Um, I'm so happy for him and his performance. That's seven wins in a row for Marathon MMA in the UFC. And um, it also shows Miles' um, adaptability and, and um, how much he's learned to be able to go out there and fight without me and still dominate and run the system. And hats off to our assistant coach, Stephen Graham, for cornering us both tonight to victories. It was awesome, man. And you know what? We lucked out because when you were uh, talking with Kenny, he got to see your uh, announcement and your raise. So he was there, like, you know, to see you on, on the monitor. You're talking about Miles? Yeah. He awesome. was able to see you, you know, when they announced the decision. Uh, with that being said, he also wanted to say, like, okay, we're going to schedule it maybe different to where, like, him can corner, or I can corner him, and maybe you guys on the same night with, like, a lot of time can actually fight and then go corner one another. So that would be nuts. Yeah, we, we asked if I could coach and then and then he fight, and then he come corner my fight still. Um, I, the UFC doesn't do that, apparently, and um, I respect that. After going through the process this week, I understand why that it probably shouldn't happen. It's, it's tough, especially like cutting weight. It's hard to be there for another person cutting weight when you're cutting weight and all this stuff. So it worked out exactly how it was supposed to work out tonight. That's awesome, man, and what a great experience for both you guys and your team, friends and family. 
2024 still just kind of started. What are the goals here? How soon do we get you back in there? Any names that interest you? Yeah, I want to fight the winner of Slava Claus versus Chase Hooper. They're fighting on the St. Louis card um, May 11th. I want the winner of that fight. That's awesome. And it, it would be even better if you were on that card, a little Kansas City act, you know, like right there, people from home could go see you. Sign me up for one of those matches. Great job tonight, and well done, sir. Thank you, sir.